All right, good after, good evening, everybody. Um, so I'm going to be resetting up my OnePlus Open here because I did um, have the beta on it, the Oxygen OS 14 beta, Android 14 beta. Um, and this is my North American OnePlus. Of course, you guys know the beta is only available for the Indian variant. Um, and this isn't going to be going over the beta or anything like that in this stream or video if you're watching this recorded. Um, but I'm just going to be talking about how I did it. Um, I just got to plug it in here because I think it's dead. <coughs> um, but I was able to do this by uh, just unlocking the bootloader and doing everything locally on the phone. I didn't have to uh, flash anything with the computer or any special tools. And I'm not even entirely sure that the bootloader has to be unlocked. I think you can also do this uh, with the locked bootloader since it is official OnePlus software. Um, but I was able to do it with the local install APK, which you'll need on the North American um, software. Uh, once you get over to the Indian version, that is built in. I think you still may need the APK to flash back to the North American stable because I don't think the, um, the Indian version will pass the check on that. <coughs> but other than that you should be good to go um, so I'm just going to be setting this back up uh, and talking about the beta uh, the only reason I uh, reset my phone back to stock is just because of um, the <coughs> Indian version being in the metric system um, so like the screen size and the about section was in uh, I think meters instead of inches and uh, some stuff was able to be changed when you change the region um, and then some stuff just didn't change which was kind of annoying uh, but the main thing was being I couldn't log into any of the OnePlus services like in the settings like the red cable stuff um, all that kind of stuff there was a theme store uh, where you could download themes on um, on the beta which I could not get to log in either um, so I could download the theme but then it wouldn't let me apply it <laughs> without trying to log in um, and when I tried to log in, it would just give me a network error. Um, so I don't know if that's because I'm on, I was on the Indian beta and I'm in the US or um, if it's just something that wasn't working yet in the beta, I'm not entirely sure. Um, so it is detecting my SIM already because uh, it didn't delete the eSIM during this process. So that's good. Uh, the eSIM is not active though. So that doesn't really matter. Just gonna connect it to my Wi-Fi real quick. All right, it's gonna set that back up. All right, so we'll wait on that. Um, I do have a backup to restore from, I believe. And I may do a video um, on how to do it, how to install it, but I mean, it's really not not complicated. It's just like doing any other local install, but you just download the beta um, instead. All right, sometimes this gets stuck here and you just gotta go back and forth again. I just skip it. Just going to set up the uh, screen lock real quick. I do that off screen because 
Um, I have to put my <coughs> finger on the side. <coughs> Gestures. All right, so I had to do setup offline just because for whatever reason it didn't connect um, during the setup, but it's connected now. Uh, but that also looks like I didn't get to um, restore from a backup. So I'm going to try to sign into Google here and restore. Verify on another device. That it's me. reason that failed and it didn't do anything so I'll try that again All right, I'm not going to restore from the backup. I'm just going to set it up and set it up again. Uh, but that was that was all I did to run the beta on it. Um, I just, like I said, used the local install APK on the North American version, uh, the Oxygen Updater app, and I was able to install it that way. So um, that was really what it came down to. As you can see, I was able to uh, go back to. The regular North American stable as well I had no issues going either direction um, so if you want to try the beta out like I said there were a couple issues with logging into um, like the OnePlus stuff um, and what I mean by that I'm talking about uh, like the login to the OnePlus account right here uh, didn't work and um, there was a theme store and stuff like that that also would not log in it was part of that same login um, procedure process whatever you want to call it right there on the the oneplus stuff that didn't work so that is that thank you guys for watching i'm